Hello everyone, this is Alan Hernandez with DP Computing. Today I would like to share with you some tricks and tips for your Windows 7. What I will teach you will help you organize, locate, and open your most used Windows programs and applications so that you work more efficiently. What we are going to be learning is Windows pinning on Windows 7. This is one of the many great new added features to the new Windows 7 platform. With pinning, you will be able to add your most used programs and applications on your Windows taskbar, start menu, or desktop. So whenever you need to open them, you can find them easier and quicker without spending much time. Let's start by learning and showing you how to pin your frequently used programs to the start menu and the taskbar. The first thing that I would like to go over with you is that the taskbar is this section down here. The start menu is this section over here. So what we want to be learning is basically move your most used programs and applications to either your desktop, your taskbar, or your start menu. Ultimately, it will be really up to you how you want to organize your desktop and your computer. The experience would be up to you. This will give you some tricks and tips on how to do so. So, to give you an example on my situation, if I will be the one organizing my windows, what I would do is that I first will look in the list of programs, the programs that I often used all the time. And then I would decide whether I want those programs to show on the desktop, on my star menu, or on the taskbar. The way that I normally like to do this, but then again, it's up to you how you want to do it on your end, is the, the programs that I used every single day, I put them on my taskbar as you see down here see how many I have and then the programs that I used every now and then but I use them also often I'll put them on the star menu and then the programs that I used occasionally not all the time not every day but I do use them I drop them on the desktop so to give you a scenario on this an example is I'll go over to the all programs list and now I'm going to pick a few of the programs that I used every day. To give you an example here, I'll go into Adobe Photoshop, which is a photo editing software. So what you need to do is right click on the application and then you'll have two options down here that says pin to taskbar and pin to star menu. Okay, so what you want to do here is you have the option to either put it on your taskbar on your start menu or you can send it to your desktop there it is either or the way that you can do this as far as pinning goes is for example if I want to pin this to the taskbar from the list of programs there is the icon right here I just added it to the taskbar so if I go back to the list of programs and then back to Adobe Photoshop and right click on it again you will see that the taskbar option no longer says pin to it now says on pin because it's already pinned to the taskbar however on the other end you'll see that it says pin to start menu because this option is not yet enabled so if I choose this option and then I go over to the desktop when I open my start menu you will see that Adobe Photoshop is now on my start menu and then again if I go back to the icon on the list of programs you will now see that both options will say on pin because you only have that option the pin option is already done and the last option here will just say that you want this program to also go to your desktop you can also drop it by doing desktop and there it is make sense another way that you can pin your programs to the start menu or to the taskbar is by using an icon that you already have on your desktop for example in this case if you can agree with me that when you install a program for the first time on your Windows 
it will create or ask you to create a desktop icon. So let's just say that you said yes and that you created an icon on the desktop. I can now go over to this icon without having to go through the list and find it in the list and I can just simply right click on it and the options apply the same way. The only difference is that I'm using an icon from the desktop versus from the list of programs. So in this case it's the same thing. Let's just say I want to now unpin this from the taskbar and it's gone. If I now want to unpin this from the start menu, there it is, it's gone. See that? So the same thing if I want to now add it back to the taskbar, I'll click on it this way and then back to the start menu, I click on it this way and there they are. See them? So ultimately how you want to organize it would be up to you. The fact that Adobe Photoshop is an application that I use every single day, what I would do in this case is that I'll right click on it and I'll take it off the start menu and I'll leave it on my taskbar because it's easier for me in my situation to simply go like this, open it versus start menu, go up in the list, click on it. It's a little bit extra step. So it's really up to you. If you want to leave the icon option on your desktop, that's also up to you. What I recommend to keep your desktop clean and only keep it limited, I would delete the option on the desktop because you already have it on the taskbar. The same thing if you want to remove it from your taskbar and only have it on your desktop the same way. Or if you want to remove it from your desktop and your taskbar and only have it on your start menu, it's up to you. The option here would be up to you on how you want to organize your desktop. So that's basically pinning your frequently used programs to the start menu and the, start, the taskbar, how to add them and remove them, and how to move them around. And basically, as I said earlier, it would be up to you on how you want to organize your desktop. The last thing that I want to go over with you is how to open recently used documents, programs, and applications from the pin programs on the taskbar and star menu. So what we're going to be noticing here is if I open my start menu, you're going to see that this section here, this list, are the programs that Windows will recognize to be my most used programs. So automatically, Windows will start to add icons to this list because these are the ones that I used all the time. The second option on this would be if you first open your uh, start menu, you will see on the right hand side here recent items and these recent items is basically everything that you have opened recently now this has nothing to do with pinning a program to the taskbar start menu or the desktop this is separately from that but why I wanted to show you your most recent and open items programs or applications is so that you can determine that hey the list of programs that I used all the time are here because Windows would let you know that these applications is what you use all the time. And then if you go over to the recent items, you will also see that these are the items that you used all the time. So this is now another way for you to say, okay, you know what? This program called Speed Up My PC, which is an application I use for cleaning, tuning, and speeding my PC, I use it every single day to keep up with my PC. So what I would do here is I'll go over to the All Programs list. I go down in the list. I find it. And there it is, the program. I right click on it. And then what I would do in this case, I'll add it to either the Start menu or the Desktop. Not necessarily the taskbar because in my situation, the taskbar I use for programs that I use every day as far as business applications and things of that nature. But programs as far as burning a CD, uh, cleaning your computer, things of that nature, photo editing programs and so forth, I'll probably put those on the start menu. That's just my way on organizing it. But let's just say that the fact that I know now that Speed on My PC is a program that I use every day or often, 
I want to add this to the star menu, so I pin it to star menu. So that's one, let's say. So if I go back to this main list, you will see that now the application is in the start menu, and there it is. So this list also lets me know that a shampoo win optimizer nine, which is a Windows optimization application, really, really good program. I use also often. So the same thing applies. I'll go over to the list of programs. I go into the folder called a shampoo, which is the company for this software and then I look for Win Optimizer 9 and I'll do the same thing. Right click on it and then I want to pin it to the star menu. If I go back you will now see that it's also in the list. Now you noticed really quick if you look at this list that remember how we was showing in the bottom list but now that I added it to the star menu it now moved to the top and it will always stay on the top of the list not on the bottom of the list because the ones at the bottom of the list are the ones that you have not yet pinned but are the ones that you used all the time so there's the difference there so once you determine this now you can figure out whether you want it to be on the start menu whether you want it to be on the taskbar or whether you want to add them to your desktop would be really up to you the way that I would recommend you do this to keep your desktop clean, if you look at my desktop now, I only have several applications. I can display and show off the Windows 7 wallpaper. Looks clean, looks beautiful. There's not too much icons on the desktop. To me, that's the way I like that. You've seen on some people's computers, they have lots of icons on the desktop. Again, it's really up to you how you want to do this. So what I would do in this case is I'll add all my everyday business applications to the taskbar. For example, uh, QuickBooks, Outlook. Um, we have, you know, Contagia Studios, which is how I record my videos. We have Word document, Adobe Photoshop, and the list goes on. Skype, so forth. So I'll put those applications on my taskbar because it's easier for me to just go like this and open. Okay, and then the programs that I used every now and then but I also used often I'll put them on the start menu so that's basically how can you pin your frequently used programs and applications to your start menu desktop or taskbar now it will be up to you how you want to organize it and then I also show you where you will find your recently used items programs and applications with your start menu and where they'll display and as I mentioned when you click on the start menu they will start to show in this bottom list letting you know that those are the ones you open all the time but yet they're not the ones that you have organized by using the pinning feature on Windows 7 so again guys these are some great tips and tricks on how to help you work more efficiently be more organized and be able to move things around your way. So if you want to have a greater experience with Windows 7, this is what you need to be doing so that you know where you keep your programs. And if you want to access something quickly, you know where they are. Now, if you can agree with me, if you click on the Start menu, All Programs, eventually, as the months go by, you will start to add programs. And if you look in the list of my computer, I have quite a few programs and when I mean a few I would probably say many programs and if I'm looking for something in particular it will take me a minute and it will be longer for me to look in the list for what I'm looking for versus just simply open the taskbar there it is or open the start menu there it is if you can agree with me this is the most efficient and quickest way to access your most used programs applications and items on your Windows 7. What I want to also do before we go is give you an extra tip on how to basically enable this show and hide uh, taskbar feature which I thought is useful because the key here is guys if you can agree with me on this as well is if you can show off your wallpaper is key because for example, this Windows 7 wallpaper that came with Windows 
looks beautiful. I love the green, the green, the yellow, the blue on it. So if I can basically hide the taskbar, which has all these icons, and I let it do this, it's great. So let me show you really quick how simple it is to add or enable, disable this feature. If you go over to the Start menu, right-click on it, Properties, you will have on the Taskbar option here, an option that says Auto Hide the Taskbar. If you disable it and apply, it will always show. If you enable this feature and apply, it would hide when you're not moving your mouse over it, just like this. When you move your mouse over to the end, it would then pull up. Okay? Again, guys, um, if you have any questions or if you wish to find more Windows 7 tips and tricks uh, videos, please come over to comp uh, dpcomputing.com AU. And if you are uh, basically the ones that want to ask questions, if you want to provide some comments uh, regarding to this video, feel welcome to do that below the video. And um, I look forward to replying to as many of those questions as possible. I want to say thank you again for your time and for watching this video. Again, my name is Alan Hernandez with DP Computing. And I'll be talking to you and uh, showing you other tricks and tips on different other videos for your Windows 7 if you look forward to them. What I want to do before I go now, guys, is pull up our website. Um, there it is, DP Computing. You're welcome to come over and contact us if you have any questions. If you like to uh, ask any support-related questions and you need help, uh, you're more than welcome to do this. Again, our website is dpcomputing.com.au. Thank you so much for watching and take care.